What is it you wanted to know? She gave me a benefit check or that. Oh, I don't think so. I mean, you get an ESA. Okay, you get your ESA every two weeks. And I, I, I first recognised I had a problem with mental health about this, this, when I was in Washington. I was living in a bed How old were you? I was about 24. And I, I realised I, I could have brought my life to an end. So I had to seek for help. The first place I went was Cherry Rose Hospital. I went to see the doctor, preferred us to work to a psychiatrist at Cherry Rose. I thought it was a step forward, you know, for, 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 me, for myself personally, and because I did desperately need help. But then uh, voices exploded in my mind. A voice, I should say. It just exploded in my mind. So it's all about heaven's war and things such as that. And it, but it goes on and on and on. In my mind, I see planets explode and heaven explode. And I, you can feel the impacts, you know. And you can't do anything about it. Like, lot, in lots of ways, you're helpless. But you, 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 you need help. You come for help. But you just hope it's there for you. The support I got was offered in injections, which made us hyperactive. I was walking, you know, with speed. I just couldn't sit down. And that's what I told me, man, that, you know, that maybe the hospital's not such a good place. Because I got people who were sniggering around and laughing at what was happening to us. So, in lots of ways, I was trying to keep out of hospital. Like, I think the last time I went in the hospital was nine years ago. I just, I just can't, I just don't want to go in. Crisps. You've got I've got tea and sugar. And Can you just show me what you've got? Tea and sugar. Jasmine comes once a week about yeah. Thursday. Yeah. Thursday, she comes once a week. But if I need to see them, all I've got to do is contact them. Well, we knock on your door every day, don't we? Yeah. Every time we come to, to oh, yeah, the building, we'll yeah. knock on your door just to make sure you need oh. anything. All the help I, I need is I'm getting my phone. Will you test your smoke detector for me, please? Yeah. No. Just make sure that's working properly. It means that they come in and help you. When you request for help, they'll come in and help you. The, the pop in wants to do a property check to see if there's anything happening, if I haven't facing any problems like bullying or whatever. They will sort the problem out. That's how helpful it is. That's, that's what, I, and we are rely on that. Anything else you want to know? Uh, okay. uh, what I thought when I come on here was fine, you know, I, I thought, well, this is it, you know, this is the help I'm getting. This, 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 that was satisfactory. It was like, for the first time in here, I was satisfied with the help I was getting. Major spent lots of time at the clubhouse because there are groups on. I go to a history group well, once a fortnight. And so we're there, guess the library. To which I appreciate that because guess is up the house for a little while. But I can come and go when I want. That's the actual thing, so it. We're at the clubhouse, you used to agree on Alexander Road. The reason why I come here is because I can get food, I can socialise, I can get drink, drinks, and that's another reason. There's another reason is they do groups. They are part of the history group. I want to be part of the Bolton Football Group as well. So I've got a good name for that. It's run by uh, Silver Hughes, the clubhouse. And that's a good thing as well, because you've got faith in you, you know. For a person with illness, it can fulfil a part of your life. It's a pretty, you know, it's a place that's needed in life. It's a place that I need. Even though I'm only, only left for an hour and a half or an hour, two hours, it's a place that I need, because I need that hour and a half to get out of the house. That's two hours, otherwise I'm stuck. It's what it occupies my mind, but I don't know, when I come back, I think about it. You get company. Yeah. You find out I'm not really a conversationist when I'm there. But you like being around people and yeah. listening to them talk and yeah. just being around people. Yeah, that's true. Mm -hmm. There's no pressure for you to have to talk, is there? You jumble them up, don't they? So sometimes you know, they're not all get a copy of the postcode and we'll look on Google Maps. Because we've been working on moving, haven't we? Yeah, on shadow okay. houses now. Yeah, and next you want to go into sheltered housing. So when you turn 55 in January, we're going to register you with Anchor, won't we? Mm. And then you can have a warden controlled place. Yeah. And then we will still come and we'll still support you, but it'll be floating support instead of you living here. Yeah. Yeah? So is that what you want? Yeah, well, yeah. Oh, yeah. So we can still come, but we wouldn't knock on your door every day. We'd maybe only come once or twice a week. Oh. It'd be slightly less, but you'd have a warden. Yeah. 